This video will show how you can share your screen and still see your participants while in Google Meet. So the first thing you wanna do before you get started is make sure that you have all the tabs that you're going to use in your Meet open across the top. It just makes for more seamless transitions. Also, when you're in Google Meet with students, you wanna make sure that you have your chat open on the side, just that you can see in case anybody is chatting or asking questions and you can keep an eye on the kids if you have a small group. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull your Meet tab off of the top and make it its own window. This will allow us to lay two windows side by side. One is the window you're presenting and the other is the Meet tab that you can watch everybody. So the way we do this is we go up to the Meet tab. I'm gonna pull it straight down so that it becomes its own separate window. And then I'm gonna slide it all the way over to the right until I see a shadowed outline covering about half my screen. Once I see that shadowed outline, I'm going to let go and this will snap this into half my screen. Now for the left half of my screen, I'm just going to click the thumbnail that's being shown, which is the old window I was working from. Now that I have that ready to go, I'm just gonna double check. Sometimes the first time it doesn't take it, so I'll just click that right window again, pull it down, and then slide it over till I see that outlined rectangle and let go. Now I have two windows side by side and I'm ready for presenting. I have my first item up that I wanna present over here on the left-hand side, and then my second item is gonna be following it over here. I'm going to go back to my meet window, go down to the bottom where I can see my toolbar, and I'm going to choose present now. I'm going to use a Chrome tab. This is best for seamless transitions and also if you're going to be presenting with audio and video. Once I choose a Chrome tab, it's going to ask which tab I want to show first. I'm going to choose the Tech at Home tab. I will be able to flip through many tabs during my presentation and I will show you how to do that. So I'm going to click Share. And now what happens, as you can see, is that it's being presented, says that it's being shared with Google Meet. And I can scroll up and down and my system can see what I'm showing. He just sees below this blue line. So basically, just sees this whole entire white page of Adam. Notice that I can still see Adam. And if I need to, I can click the chat window to open that. And I could see what's going on in the chat window. And then if somebody had, was raising their hand using the nod extension, I would also still be able to see that. If I wanted to change my tab to something different, when I click on my second tab, my Chrome user view, you set the that changes. And I have an option to share this tab instead. So first I'm gonna get it all ready by going back to the beginning of my presentation. Adam is still seeing my old tab. And I can tell because when I look at the top, he still sees the tech at home because that's what this little blue square shows, rectangles. So now I'm ready to show the Chromebook tab. I'm going to share tab instead. Now this has moved here and I have the message that this chat tab is shared to meet.google.com. So now I can click through here. One more caution about the videos. Some people have noted that they can be choppy and that's true. However, there are a few tips to keep them as seamless as possible. The first is to make sure that you don't have any extraneous things running. So that may be another program, that might be extra tabs at the top like email or other things that you're working on for later. Another thing that you want to be careful about is keeping your mouse very still. It's been noted that when you move your mouse around on the screen, it actually makes the sound choppier. Because I'm doing a screen recording on top of everything else I'm doing right now, my sound is going to be choppy. But when you're ready, you would just click play and then the video would start for your students. Remember to keep your mouse still. You can pause it as you go along if you need to and ask questions. Another way to share the is just to take the URL of the video or whatever it is you want to share with them and simply paste it in the chat window. So when I go back over to the chat window, I can paste it in whatever it is I want my students to get and I can have them go to it on their own and I can watch the video to two minutes and then then pause it and come and have discussion. Hopefully this helps you in working with students and also sharing your screen.